Hey guys, it's Ricky. Welcome back to Getting Sticky with Ricky, and thanks for checking out my second recipe video of the week. Um, hope you enjoyed Taco Tuesday. If you remember a month ago when I had come up with the idea for Taco Tuesday, I had also come up with the idea of various recipes that we can utilize tofu in. This week's recipe, I'm killing three birds with one stoner. Me being the stoner. The three birds being first bird, tofu recipe. Just said it. Second bird, vegan friendly. Trying to live a healthier lifestyle? You're a vegetarian? I feel like there's so many th recipes out there for carnivores and vegetarians, but not enough for vegans. This recipe can be enjoyed by everybody. Third, my friend Megan, she shared a video of mine on her Facebook. Um, a while back, she had shared a video of mine on Facebook, and I was really appreciative of her. I was really appreciate. <laughs> I was really appreciative, 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 appreciative. I appreciated her so much by her posting that video. I said, hey, I'm gonna do something that you would like to see on my channel. So she requested a grilled cheese and tomato soup. So there you have it, three birds, one stoner. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you what I got here. First things first, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Next three quarter cup of vegetable stock. If you're trying to live that vegan, vegetarian lifestyle, make sure the vegetable stock you get from the shelf actually has no animal byproducts on there. You'd be surprised how many vegetable stocks on the market, they say vegetable stock, has like beef marrow and chicken stock in it. I don't, I don't get that. Vegetable stock should be vegetable stock. So just make sure you read the label, people. Two and a half pounds of tomato on the vine. Well, I took the tomatoes off the vine and I got yelled at in the grocery store. By the, the grocer saying, I can't remove my tomatoes for the vine. I ain't paying for the vine. I ain't using the vine in my recipe. Anyway, sorry. One cup of diced yellow onion, half cup of tomato paste, three cloves of garlic smashed, salt, pepper of one cup of one cup of basil, mm, fresh basil, and one package of silken tofu. Make sure it's silken. It's the softest type out there. I'm sure you can use extra firm with this. You might just have a little bit of an issue creaming it and getting it to that cream of tomato consistency. <clears throat> Get yourself three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna brown our garlic and our onions first. Add your onion, add your garlic. Okay. We're gonna cook that until it softens. Now you know me, salt and pepper to taste. I like adding salt and pepper to my veggies first while I'm cooking. That's just what I do. Make sure you stir your onions and garlic occasionally. You don't want them burning. You want everything cooking evenly. I realize I say K a lot. I have to cut it out on my videos when I edit it. You don't hear it, but I hear it a lot. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. The reason we want it soft is because we're gonna be putting this baby. We're gonna be using an immersion blender today. You at home. You can use an immersion blender, you can use a regular blender, food processor. Um, you would just do it a little differently and I'll, exp I'll explain the process to you when we get there. I love the smell of onion and garlic. Facebook Live and people, while I'm filming a video for getting sticky with Ricky at an undisclosed location. Oh, how adorable. We're gonna add our tomato paste. And we're gonna cook this for one minute, constantly stirring. We do not want to burn our tomato paste, okay? Let's get it all off there. You want all the goods. All right. Cook this for five minutes. No, one minute. I lied. Just one minute. After it's been on there for a minute, we're going to remove this from the heat. Okay? And now we're going to add our basil, our tomatoes, and our vegetable stock. This is a good stir. You can add more salt and pepper if you'd like. Or you can wait till the end. If you know, I know my I know my taste buds. This is the part where our techniques to actually make the soup are going to be different. I'm about to use an immersion blender. If you don't want to have a new immersion blender at home, uh, you can actually use a food processor or blender, regular blender. If you're using a regular blender, you would put half of this mixture into your blender, pulsate it, put it to the side, then put the next half in, pulsate it, pull it to the side. You do not want to put this in your blender if it's hot because the steam from the lid will blow it all up. It's going to town. 
immersion blenders are great. You should get yourself one. And just crush your tomatoes. Just keep whirring it up till it's all smooth. All right. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Now we're going to emulsify our oil into our tomato mixture. All right. Olive oil. Just little by little, gradually. You don't want to pour it all in there at once. Once all your olive oil has been properly blended into your soup, now this is when we're gonna add our tofu. One package of soft silken tofu. See how this just looks like pulls apart? It's like yogurt or my cheese. Yeah. Mm. The whole package, 16 ounces. Back to the immersion blender. Now that you're all blended, you want to put that back on the stove top. And so you're going to heat it up because you obviously want hot, warm soup. All right. Okay. So for the grilled cheese, this is what we're doing now. Get yourself some vegan butter, AKA margarine. I got myself, it's not the fanciest bread, but it's not like your regular white bread. It's a, it's made from a local bread maker. You want to butter the outsides of your bread. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt because that's what I like to do. Make sure you pull your butter out when you go to make grilled cheeses because um, I left mine in the fridge and it's hard. We're going to put this baby in the microwave for just a minute or a second just to soften it up. He's getting vegan cheese. I'm getting Munster cheese. Mmm, Munster. This is grilled cheese. I'm doing six slices, three on each side. Close that baby up. And like I said, we're gonna butter the outside of our bread before we put it in the pan. Okay, make sure you go from all over your bread, top to bottom, side to side. I like to do a little, little bit of salt in there. Once that pan is nice and hot, you can put your grilled cheese right on top. Butter the other side. You just put a lid on that. You want to know why? Because gluten, uh, vegan cheese doesn't melt nicely. So we're going to keep the heat in there. Check on your bread, make sure it's not burning. Nice browning we got see, there. Could have done a little bit better in the middle. Here we go again. Let's do the suppress. The butter sticking to the spatula. Keep pressing your grilled cheese down with your spatula. It's the only way you're gonna get that cheese melt. I'm just gonna keep rotating it. So I get both sides. You want your bread cr crunchy, you don't want soggy grilled cheese. And there you have it. Grilled cheese, tomato soup, vegan friendly. You could use regular cheese if you want. Tofu recipe, recipe from Megan wanted to see. Megan, hopefully you enjoy this. It's not the most gourmet, elegant grilled cheese and tomato soup, but guess what? You're gonna like it. Jamal's gonna like it. Any cheese you want. I got Munster for me. I got vegan for the other one. So thanks for tuning in. Come back next week. Uh, see what we're doing for Christmas week. Uh, Y'all have a blessed one and thanks for watching.